Protecting children from abuse, that's the intent of what officials in Suffolk County are calling a new public dashboard that will give Long Islanders more information and quickly about child abuse cases. And the goal, not just transparency, but to make everyone aware of kids at risk and how the public can help cut cases of child abuse. With the story, here's Long Island reporter Shante Lanz. Nearly four years after eight-year-old Thomas Valva of Cinema Ridges froze to death, the brutal child abuse and neglect leading to his last breath still weighs heavy on the hearts of many here in Suffolk County. We saw an example of evil by a father, a police officer, that is still inconceivable to me. Suffolk County Executive Steve Ballone announces the progress made to protect other children from harm in Valva's honor launching the CPS Transformation Act to form a task force led by Deputy County Executive John Kamen. Bringing together uh, people who had a window uh, into the world that Thomas Valva uh, experienced. Like Valva's elementary school teachers who band together before his death to flood the state Child Protective Services hotline to report that Thomas showed up starving with scratches on his face covered in urine and feces. A new task force led to raising pay for caseworkers and hiring 46 new ones, bringing it to a new total of 110. Another issue is the large caseload, which is why county officials say the new hires have helped lower the cases to investigate per worker to mostly under 12 and to quicker be able to catch the most egregious abuse, like what happened to Thomas Valva. The number of caseloads now posted publicly online on what's called CPS dashboard for all to see and monitor. Transparent to the ones that hold us responsible, the county executive office, the legislators, but especially the people of Suffolk County. 